Hey, Em. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I got a video game for you. Uh, okay. This looks like a video game. It sure does look like a video game, right? What's it called? It's called Agalos. Okay. Okay. Do you like Wonder Boy? Uh, I played that most recent one, and I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, that's good, because this game's kind of like that. Okay. You, you, uh, got, a pogo, currently... you got a pogo jump? I do got a pogo jump. I learned it from a mole. He All taught right. it to me. Um, this game is currently on Steam only. I think they said later this year it's going to be coming to Switch, which is good because you can have all the Wonder Boy you want there. Yeah. This game is very Wonder Boy. Uh, I can tell that. Yeah. Everything from like the little scene transitions. Uh, you're level 3 now. I am level 3. There's leveling up in this game. I'm guessing there's a key in here. Yep. Uh, do you get um, new forms or stuff, or is you just running around with a sword? You do not get new forms, but you do get new elemental abilities. Okay. So, it's very much like a Wonder Boy... Oh man, whatever. Which one was that? Like Monster World 3 on the Genesis? Okay. I told Feels you I only like played that. the most recent one. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. It's the sequel to the one you just played. Oh, okay. Is it as good as that one? Um... I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good, <laughs> but... That other one is, like, kind of way better. <laughs> it was a really good game. I liked it a lot. It was a really good game. Um, I like this game a lot. And here is... First of all, here's a really cool detail. Oh, hey. All your equipment shows up on you. And it changes your, like, hitbox. And... I would not have expected that out of this. I did not. That's a lot of work to do. I did not expect anybody to do that. Um, let's see. So, somewhere in this dungeon, there is a new special ability that unlocks new areas. You might have guessed. Uh, yeah, no. I, I understand how these guys... Oh, that's cool. Yep. So, somewhere up here. I assume you're not very far into this game, seeing as you're level 3. Yeah, this is... Oh, here, I did it. Uh, no, you gotta leave this now. Is the first dun this is the first dungeon. I'm a little bit farther than this in my other save, but I decided this would be a good starting point to show off the game. Mm -hmm. Probably on this video, there's not gonna be any music, which is fine. I I'm hearing the music. It's pretty decent, you know? You're... You're, you're hearing the music. I cannot hear the music. It's no, uh, it's no Zelda 2 dungeon, which it clearly is trying to emulate, but... Right. Okay. Like, really trying to emulate. I think I need to go back up. It definitely does sound like some Zelda 2 music, for sure. Uh, this was put out by Storybird. I'm okay. not sure if that's a develop. No, I, I think that's a developer. Mm -hmm. um, they're a little consistent, inconsistent in their online presence. So it got a little weird to look at. But I believe they also did the very, very, very Zelda 2 uh, Finding Teddy 2. Could you not bounce off that green guy up there? No, okay. I need to get a new ability to be able to do that. Ah, so right. what I think I need to do is break these, break one of these, break one of these. Um, like Wonder Boy, like the old Wonder Boy games, there is a lot of precision platforming in these. Okay, no way, I can't get up there. Oh, I'm missing something. I'm You're totally missing something. You're just stuck. Oh, man. you know what? I have a key. So I'll go this way. Let's let's go up this fun little thing again, and let's go to the left instead of to the right. I don't I don't know why it's so hard to navigate in these dun in these old 2D dungeons, because like there's only two directions. I mean, you're playing and talking. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard, right? That's my defense. Yep. Um, here we go. Uh, there we go. So that's a new power. This is the Earth Ring. You missed the. There was a plaque in the room you did not read. Oh, I'll read it on the way out. Okay. So you can shoot these, and you can turn wisps into platforms, but you can also attack enemies with it and okay. turn them into platforms. That's neat. You can see where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, I don't I don't need to see this tutorial again. Thanks. Cool. Okay, let's get out of here. 
which one is the elemental power button? This one? Is it not just I'll be like Castlevania? No, it's not. Okay. Let me let me equip the controls on this. A little weird. Inventory. Ring. Nope. That's that's showing me the tutorial again. Here we go. It's the controls are also weirdly reversed. It looks almost like you don't have like a mana power. Oh, anymore. you know what it is? Yes. I don't have mana. Yeah, ah. there you go. See, I should have read the plaque. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> I got a little excited. Oh, did it disappear? Oh, nope. there it is. It did disappear, and then it reappeared. And then I didn't make the platform moment. Oh, they uh, they should give you a double jump. You know, I think they might later. You don't know. There's always a double jump in this game, right? Yeah, you'd hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, talking and playing video games is hard. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I used to do it all the time. Okay, I think it can go through this. There we go. Yeah, Perfect. there you go. Alright. So... Let's go revisit our buddies over here. Uh, you don't want to climb up uh, that thing again, do you, uh, do you? Or do you want to use the other way? Uh, oh, you know what? There is another way, isn't there? Yeah, if you go up the elevator thing and to the right, there was a green thing you could turn to a platform. That's true. Okay, let's go try that. Um, just like Wonder Boy, there's a lot of precision platforming that you'll probably have to try multiple times yeah. to get correctly. Which is fine. <laughs> Which is fine as long as you're not making a recording of it. Because then everybody sees your mistakes. But you know what? That's okay. We understand the difficulty of platforming now. Alright. So we gotta get here. I'm gonna drop that. So I do think I need to get to the other side. Yeah. To push that one. And then I believe there's a boss right after this. Which will be fun because I did not grab any potions. So um, there is a town. I think there's a couple hub towns, but there's at least one that I went to before. Where you can buy items and new equipment. Mm hmm So, you know, it's got that very RPG vibe. Oop. Yeah, I really like this style of games combination of RPG and platforming mechanic stuff. I know that's like <laughs> just like a new one of these comes out every week. Uh, this one looks really good and seems decent so far. Yeah, I really like these because like the worlds are a little bit more like self-contained dungeon stuff. Yeah. As opposed to the kind of like sprawling Metroidvania stuff. Yeah, like this is distinct enough from Metroidvania that, you know, those are the ones I feel like come out three a week. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, there's a lot of good ones, but then there's a lot of just kind of. Oh, that's a cool skull. Ones. It's really good. And here's the, here's the Zelda thing where you have to use your power to. Whoa. I think I'm probably going to die. Let's see, I need to get in position. You have not actually done damage to the boss yet. I have not. I need to make them into a platform. Is what I need to do. Okay, so I got both of them. Uh, that boss has too much health. They will... Uh, this might not surprise you, but this boss has more than one form. Oh, you used an herb and you got an achievement. I did. Oh. Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh, just jamming on this button, hoping you, it dies before you do, is a big mood. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the classic NES strategy. Smash the button and hope they die before I do. Remarkably effective. Yeah, you did it. Out. I did it. Alright, let's get out of this dungeon. You picked up a piece let's of go. heart for doing that. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, that was a full heart. Uh, yeah. So what are you collecting here and why? What are these crystals? Uh, we're collecting elements. They're crystals that contain the elements. Have you heard that one before? Yeah, are there four of them or five of them? There's four of them. Okay. 
How did you know? <laughs> well, it, yeah, was it turns guess. out there's four elements. You have to collect all of them. Uh, there is a castle that I visited earlier because a princess came, and she and she had been kidnapped. Mm. Uh, so I saved her, and I went to the castle, and they're like, "You need to collect these elements because there's a giant hole where all the bad things in the world are gonna come from in the castle, and it's getting bigger." And somebody wants to use it for nefarious purposes. And I'm gonna beat them to it. I like yeah, I like this, this, this I like this platform making power. It's very Mega Man 2. Oh, okay. Well I messed I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, it's uh I do I do like it when you get abilities that are more than just the standard, hey, here's a double jump or whatever that let you use it in interesting ways. Um, but yeah, that's Agalos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could easily just wander around for a little bit more can I, and get lost. Can I lost. see this town? I want to see this town before we're... Do you uh, want to see the town before yeah. we get out of here? Yeah, let's go back to the town. Uh, I believe there is a monkey in the town. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. Now that I have this new ability. Oh, do you know what? There's a sign. Back to the town. Okay, so I want to go this way. So I want to go through the forest, and then I want to go through the town. Uh, there's a couple monkeys in the town that don't really do anything but make monkey sounds, but if you turn your back on them, they steal some gold from you. That's pretty good. It was making a weird sound, and I was like, uh, so what's that weird sound? What's going on there? And then I saw my gold count had been decreasing. It's, real it's a really good joke. All right, let's see. Be careful of bright plants. Yep. Okay. So let's head back to the town. You got this box here that you can break. Oh, you are a ways from town. Yep. So I just need to head up to the surface from here. There we go. I uh, really like these snakes. They're very... Wonder Boy. They're like the most Wonder Boy snakes. There's some those some of those mushrooms look very much like it too. Hey, here we go. On your platform, you can you can do this. I think you can also hit it slightly beforehand to just drop through it. That's cool. So that's nice. If I could get the timing correctly. Um you can talk to it. Yeah. They can't prevent themselves from stealing. They just can't help it. So you can talk to them. <laughs> I, I, don't, I obviously don't speak monkey. Oh, I yeah, that's great. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Um, this is where I got my different equipment, which again, I really, I really love that it also changes like the animation a little bit mm -hmm. to communicate that change in power. And here's a little. A shop where you can buy a small potion, which I will buy. Only one at a time, potions. I think you might be able to buy a big one. Okay. The herbs you can only have one at a time. Yeah. So those are kind of like they do the fairy fit thing. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Giving you another he life. Uh, this is way more Zelda two than I was expecting. Yep. Uh, which is not a bad thing to me. Yeah, I, I really like it a lot. Here's the castle, if you wanted to see that. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. It's, it de like you said, it feels very distinct from like the other non-linear platformers that like can do the Metroid thing. And there's a lot of... <laughs> that guy has got a lot going on right now. Yeah, there's, there's a lot like that. Um, it's probably not very smart that I'm trying to fight these guys with my weak equipment. Hey, but there we go. I'm assuming I need another power to get that treasure chest, because it is too far for me. Yeah. Or maybe I needed to have the enemy in the right place. But, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the other <laughs> three crystals, <laughs> elemental crystals, give me. Um, and hopefully we'll see this on the Switch t this year. 
Uh, I was going to ask jokingly when this is coming to Switch, so I'm glad you answered this already. <laughs> yeah. It says this summer, but, you know, it's August, so. Uh, technically summer, but not by much. It's technically summer, so as long as they release it by the end of this year, they, they still made the release date. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for hanging out and um, showing this game off with me. And yeah, this looks cool. I would play this. Yeah. Do you want to plug anything while you're here? Uh, you could go to thebestgame.club to listen to the Best Game Podcast Club, where we play video games and role mapping. Uh, that's yeah, it, really. It's a it's a very good podcast. You're also on a visual novel podcast as well. Yeah, that's which I it. Also recommend. That's it. Readinggames.online. Um, we are on our way to doing um, Hotel Dusk when this comes out, probably. So. Right. What was the last one you just did? Uh, Ghost of Miami. I, I need to play that. It looks cute. It's really good. I liked it a lot. Yeah, unlike Danganronpa, right? Oh. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's a bad time when you play visual novels. That's all. Well, I appreciate you making that episode. Oh, I oh look at that bear. Is he a friend or an enemy? Oh, he's an <laughs> no, enemy. No, he's definitely an enemy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's, let's see him do the swipe. There oh. we go. <laughs> he's so cute, right. though, before he tries to maul you. It's true. All right. They're just dangerous in the wild. <laughs> but thanks again. Mm-hmm.